Every game that I win, I can steal one player from the other team. But the only problem is that my team is awful. Yeah, I'm literally using the lowest overall team possible. But luckily for us, our first opponent wouldn't be too good. The Washington Commanders are a 79 overall, only two overalls higher than us. And because Kyler Murray was actually able to play a full season this time around, the Arizona Cardinals would cruise past the Washington Commanders, earning our first W of the season. 27 to 14, we actually catch a W. But since the Commanders are very bad, bad dude this might be the last team you want to steal a player from there are no good overalls in this team i mean i guess i'll settle for jonathan allen i don't really know what else i'd get from this team and with adding jonathan allen to the team he'll look to help us complete our goal of surpassing a 90 overall and winning a super bowl if we can't win a super bowl by the end of the season i'll let a random subscriber tweet whatever they want on my twitter account and i really would not want that to happen and we'd like to go 2-0 to start the season facing the new york giants hey well the giants are 0 one that's good to see and with this being our first home game of the season, the Giants would help us return to reality. Absolutely curb stomping the Arizona Cardinals 31 to 6. Okay, well, we fall in dramatic fashion. This is the team that I expected. Kyler Murray, 127 yards and zero touchdowns. We are going to somehow need to beat a good team so I can get a good quarterback. Which was funny I said that because... Oh, we got to play against the Dallas Cowboys now. And while Dak Prescott would definitely look good on our team, Kyler Murray was not going to let that happen. As the Cardinals only score 14 points points compared to Dallas's 34. Another blowout loss. We're now one and two. And the hits would only keep coming. Now we have to play against the 49ers who are 3-0 with a 99 overall Christian McCaffrey. But what's funny about football is that division rivals tend to play each other closely. And even with the 49ers being undefeated, the Cardinals would march in enemy territory and pull off the upset of the century, 23-20 over the San Francisco 49ers. This was an insanely clutch victory. And you might be asking why that was clutch. Christian McCaffrey is now an Arizona Cardinal, baby. But we'd have a chance to get an even bigger victory this week. Dude, if we can beat the Bengals, we can steal. Joe Burrow. I want Joe Burrow in the squad, I'm not gonna lie. And somehow, someway, this game would go back and forth, with each team scoring points whenever they want it, until we found ourselves in this situation. 24-24 with 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. We just got to hand the ball off to CMC a couple times and hopefully we can get in field goal range. And it looks like we're gonna kick the field goal already with 17 seconds. That's kind of a, a lot of time left. But nonetheless, it is good. Either way, I will take it. And even for Joe Burrow, nine seconds wasn't enough time. And that's gonna do it. Even though we just got in the field goal territory, I think I kind of want Jamar Chase. Kyler Murray really showed me something this these last two weeks. And I think I'm going to change Jamar Chase into an Arizona Cardinal. Yeah, we're going to make Jamar Chase an Arizona Cardinal so he can get Kyler Murray a new weapon, an actual wide receiver one weapon. And within the last two weeks, we have added some serious talent to this offense, which would come at a good time. As even though the Rams were 0-5, the vision rivals can always play you close as we've learned before. Thankfully, there'd be no upsets around here as we would be on the winning end of this one. 22 to 21, it was way too close close for comfort but i'm glad we got it done because we get to steal aaron donald from the los angeles rams and make our defense a little bit better so we've improved our defensive line with adding jonathan allen and aaron donald and improving the defense would help us drastically against the seattle seahawks as we'd only hold them to 14 points in a 31 to 14 victory on the road well another victory for the good guys and i would continue to add to my defense Tariq Woolen, yes, you are going to be an Arizona Cardinal. And with this on a win streak, I had a chance to potentially get a new quarterback. Okay, I wasn't going to get a new quarterback, but the Ravens have 97 overall Lamar Jackson. And what would look to be Kyler Murray's last game as a Cardinal, Lamar sadly did not want to leave the Ravens, as the football gods knew we would be way too OP with him. 31 to 20, we did not get Lamar Jackson, which sucks. I mean, Kyler Murray really didn't play bad, but just Lamar Jackson's just Lamar Jackson. And even with facing the 1-6 Cleveland Browns the next week, we would drop yet another game. Dude, how did we lose to the Cleveland Browns? Coach, I really wanted Miles Garrett. And things would only get more difficult. The Falcons are 7-2. and two. However, the Cardinals were looking to snap a losing streak. And even with a really solid team coming in, this game would low-key be a barn burner, with both teams going back and forth until ultimately our 
offense would come out on top, scoring the winning touchdown in the final minutes. 20 to 13 would defeat the seven and two Atlanta Falcons and make them seven and three. Okay, that is not Jesse Bates by any means, but he's a 98 overall and I will gladly add him to our secondary. Dude, our defense is looking amazing now. We have three superstar X factors, one original superstar. I would like to get a linebacker at some point. Does that mean our best linebacker is a 77 overall? I mean, even then our offense could use some more work too. I really need to upgrade the quarterback position. I'm sorry, Kyler, but it has to happen. And we'd have the perfect upcoming opponent for that. TJ Stroud, do you want to be an Arizona Cardinal? And simply put it, it didn't seem that TJ Stroud wanted to be an Arizona Cardinal, nor did our defense want him to be. But our offense would play phenomenal, scoring essentially 30 points in a 29 to 24 victory. We edge out the Houston Texans on the road. That is a massive victory. All right, well, CJ Stroud, you are now going to be a resident in the Arizona area. So now we've replaced Kyler Murray with CJ Stroud and our offense looks pretty freaking solid. And so after that quarterback change, we would finish the season 11 and six, finishing as the 10th best team in the league. Okay, well, we are playoff bound with a record of 11 and six. And throughout the final stretch of the season, we beat teams like the Philadelphia Eagles, Chicago Bears, Seattle Seahawks. So we get even more reinforcements. Okay, so we got AJ Brown. We got Cooper Cup below him. Tremaine Edmonds is a new addition as well as Bobby Wagner, who is kind of, you know, regressing a little bit. But the team overall is actually looking pretty solid, man. I'm excited for the playoffs. And in the wild card, we'd be facing a familiar opponent. Okay, so we already took Jesse Bates from the Falcons. So we beat them once. But the question was, could we do it again? Is this matchup would be so crucial because I really wanted Kyle Pitts. Okay, we got to win this game, not only because I want Kyle Pitts, but this is the playoff. So this is literally do or die. And it's going to be 7-6, 14-6. Okay, offense is clicking as well as the defense only holding the Falcons to six points. That is phenomenal work, defense. Oh my goodness. And we'd be coming away with the victory. 24-6. Kyle Pitts, don't go anywhere. You are mine. And the Stroud playing phenomenal in his first ever playoff game. He'd get more help on the way. Kyle Pitts is now on the squad. And the offense would be surrounded with superstar X factors, which would be very important heading into the division round the 12 and 5 philadelphia eagles and Ras, we've already stolen aj brown from them they would certainly look for redemption but cj wouldn't let that happen and it would seem that the eagles missed aj brown desperately as they would struggle on offense only scoring 14 points in the 29 to 14 loss arizona cardinals secure yet another playoff victory and for as boring as it is i think i'm going to steal lane johnson from the eagles going up against our next opponent we will definitely need some protection okay well the dallas Cowboys make it to the NFC Championship and they have somebody that I could really use on my team but first we would have to beat them okay well we get seven on the board just like that the Cowboys okay they're not gonna they're, they're gonna score quick because that's just how they are in sim they're OP in simulation but it looks like our defense is playing phenomenal right now it was a barn burner but 19 to 8 we will take that W and the player that I would be stealing to help us win a Super Bowl I mean it's only fitting that I gotta take 99 Micah Parsons like he is still getting upgraded when he's already maxed out the squad is now super bowl bound and this is how we are looking we've come a long way and actually a little bit of regression from aaron donald and jonathan allen even buddha baker dropped down but nonetheless it was time the buffalo bills are gonna have to lose another super bowl i'm so sorry bills nation i'm so sorry bills mafia and just like that the worst overall team in madden made it to las vegas and was one win away from being Super Bowl champions. Oh, dude, I'm so nervous. The Bills are notorious for losing in this in the Super Bowl, so please just lose one more time, Josh Shylin. Okay, we're gonna have to score a lot of points today to beat the Buffalo Bills, guys. So please just continue to not score field goals. We need touchdowns, CJ. Please, we need touchdowns, not three field goals. Oh my God. Wow, this is an absolute barn burner, man. 12 to 13. Oh my God, CJ, we need touchdowns. There we go. 20 to 13. And just like that, the Cardinals would have an opportunity to put this game away. James Conner, he's down. It's third and one. Oh, we need this first down, dude. Please get it done, CJ. Essentially, a first down here would put the game away. Third and one, please. Honestly, I'm going for it if I don't get this. And well, they'd make it as close as possible. Oh my God, it's fourth and inches. Wait, it doesn't even matter, dude. Why are we even punting it? Oh my God, dude, please don't return this. Please don't return this. Please tackle him. Please tackle him. Please tackle him. Please tackle him. Thank you. The game is over. Okay, so the game is over, but it's literally doing this stupid freaking glitch where you can't even see the super... 
Of course, it's doing the glitch where you can't even see the Super Bowl animation. But nonetheless, we're Super Bowl champions. This is the roster that gets it done. We turn the worst team in Madden into an absolute star-studded roster just from simply stealing players. That's going to conclude this video. If you want to see another video that I know you're going to like, check this one out right here, where I had to guess who the secret 99 overall quarterback was. So let's click right here. Don't want to miss it. MMG was in it.